This week, the Supreme Court heard arguments in two related cases that could potentially transform the way college admissions officers use race as a factor in considering students' applications and potentially ban affirmative action altogether. The two lawsuits now pending before the Supreme Court, one against Harvard and one against University of North Carolina, question whether or not the court should overrule Grutter v. Bollinger, the 2003 case that allowed race to play a limited role in the college admissions process. Here's what some Boston University students have to say about the issue. So obviously it completely deconstructs a lot of how college admissions work in the first place. And I feel like that's going to cause a lot of chaos just because, I mean, a lot of college admissions are going to have to just build from the ground up again. If there's no one saying, like, you guys can't be racist, they're just going to be racist. The overarching stakes of these arguments don't just end at college admissions. The plaintiffs argue a colorblind theory of the Constitution that would prohibit the government from considering race in virtually any context. Decisions such as Grutter have given the government limited authority to foster racial diversity, so its overturn would have serious implications on racial representation in general. Here's what Sophie Ezrell, a freshman at Boston University, has to say about the notion of racial neutrality and colorblindness. As much as, like, hypothetically, we should, like, live in a world where, like, race doesn't exist and everyone's equal, that's not the world that we live in. And I think that we need to recognize that and accommodate for it and just, like, give everyone who may have not had a shot in the past a great shot. Like, I think we're just rewriting wrongdoings. The court has supported the use of race in admissions for nearly 50 years, but what's different now is its new conservative supermajority. Decisions in each case most likely won't be released until the end of the court's term in spring 2023, but proponents fear that removing race from a student's application would erase an important part of an applicant's identity. Reporting from Boston, BUTV 10, I'm Hannah Bond.